Hi guys, in this tab show we're going to take a brief look at the Dicer 1907 Pocket Pistol. Designed by Louis Smicer, the 1907 was manufactured by RM and M, which later became Rheinmetall under the Dreiser brand name. The 1907 is a 32 ACP or 765 Browning blowback pistol, which feeds from a 7 round single stack magazine. Manufactured between 1908 and 1918, an estimated 250,000 were produced. Smicer filed his patent protecting the design in 1908. It was granted two years later. The pistol was designed to avoid infringing on some of John Browning's semi-auto pistol patents. To do this, it used a three-quarter length slide attached to a breech block. When fired, the slide and breech block were called to the rear. The slide was stopped by the solid upper receiver housing. There was a frame-mounted safety on the left side of the gun, with the safe position pointing to the rear. The pistol's receiver is hinged and pivots apart for cleaning, clearing and disassembly. We can see that here in Smice's original pattern drawings. There is some substantial variation within the 1907's design, evolving over its production life. Early models lacked the scallop slide that we can see on this model, and internal changes were made as well with the addition of a disconnector. To cock the weapon, the slide is grasped at the front and pulled to the rear to chamber around. Spent cases are ejected out of port on the right side of the pistol. Here we can see the protruding cocking indicator at the rear of the gun. The pistol's front sight sits at the front of a scallop trough on top of the slide, while the rear sight is a notch in the upper receiver. The 1907 has a magazine heel release, typical of European pistols of the period. The 1907 was favoured by the German police and gendarmerie. It also saw service with elements of the German and Austro-Hungarian armies during World War I, but the 32 ACP cartridge is diminutive for a service pistol. The Dreiser remained in German police service into the 1930s. It also saw some auxiliary and Volkssturm service near the end of World War II. In 1910, Rheinmantal developed a 9mm version of the pistol. While still a blowback, they lengthened the slide and barrel and added a much stronger recoil spring. So strong that a cocking lever which disconnected the spring was needed. This version, often referred to but not officially marked as the M1910, was almost adopted by various German police forces in the years leading up to World War I, but Rheinmetall faced production problems and the project was abandoned. I've written a more detailed blog to accompany this video. You can find that on our website, thearmorersbench.com. I hope you've enjoyed this quick look at the Dreiser 1907. If you'd like more information, I highly recommend checking out Ed Buffalo's articles on his blog, The Unblinking Eye. And our friend Athias over on CN Arsenal has also done a more detailed look at the 1907. As always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.